This is Lesson 4, ready for teaching on October 22. It's titled, The Old Testament Hope. And I'm Percy Harold. Monday, October 17, from the power of the grave. Read Psalm 49. What led the psalmist to be so sure of his final resurrection in verse 15, in contrast to those who perished without that assurance in verses 6 to 14. Psalm 49, beginning at verse 1, Hear this, all peoples, give ear, all inhabitants of the world, both low and high, rich and poor together. My mouth shall speak wisdom, and the meditation of my heart shall give understanding. I will incline my ear to a proverb. I will disclose my dark saying on the harp. Why should I fear in the days of evil, when the iniquity of my heel surrounds me? Those who trust in their wealth and boast in the multitude of their riches, none of them can by any means redeem his brother, nor give to God a ransom for him, for the redemption of their souls is costly, and it shall cease for ever, that he should continue to live eternally, and not see the pit. For he sees wise men die, likewise the fool and the senseless person perish and leave their wealth to others. Their inner thought is that their houses will last forever, their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. Nevertheless man, though in honour, does not remain, he is like the beasts that perish. This is the way of those who are foolish, and their posterity who approve their sayings, Selah. Like sheep, they are laid in the grave. Death shall feed on them. The upright shall have dominion over them in the morning, and their beauty shall be consumed in the grave, far from their dwelling. But God will redeem my soul from the power of the grave, for he shall receive me, Salah. Do not be afraid when one becomes rich, when the glory of his house is increased, for when he dies he shall carry nothing away. His glory shall not descend after him, though while he lives he blesses himself, for men will praise you when you do well for yourself. He shall go to the generation of his fathers. They shall never see light. A man who is in honour, yet does not understand is like the beasts that perish. Psalm 49 speaks about the false confidence of the foolish who trust in their wealth and boast in the multitude of their riches, in verse 6, who call their lands after their own names, in verse 11, and who live only to bless themselves, in verse 18. They act as if their houses and their own glory would last forever, in verses 11 and 17. But the foolish forget that their honour vanishes, and that they perish just as the beasts do. We read about that in verse 12. Like sheep they are laid in the grave, death shall feed on them, and their beauty shall be consumed in the grave far from their dwelling. We read in verse 14. As stated by Job centuries later, Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked I will depart. Verse 21 of Job chapter 1. We also read this in 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 7. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we will carry nothing out. The psalmist points out that both the fool and the wise die, leaving their wealth to others in verse 10 of chapter 49 in Psalms. But there is a radical contrast between them. On one side are the fools who perish, even though trying to find assurance in their own transient possessions and accomplishments. In contrast, the wise behold, beyond the human saga and the prison of the grave, the glorious reward that God has reserved for them, as we read in 1 Peter 1 verse 4, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that does not fade away, reserved in heaven for you. And then in Psalm 49 verse 15, with this perception in mind, the psalmist could say with confidence, But God will redeem my soul from the power of the grave, for he shall receive me. Consistent with the Old Testament hope, this statement is not suggesting that at the time of his death the soul of the psalmist would fly immediately into heaven. The psalmist is simply saying that he would not remain forever in the grave. A time would come when God would redeem him from death and take him to the heavenly courts. 
Once again, the certainty of the future resurrection is depicted bringing hope, assurance and meaning to this present existence. So the wise will receive a far more glorious and everlasting reward than what the foolish could gather for themselves during this short life. And so to finish today, what are the ways that you have been able to see the folly of those who trust in their own wealth and accomplishments? How can keeping your eyes on the cross protect you from falling into the same error? This lesson was read by Dr. Percy Harold for Christian Services for the Blind. Sponsored by the Sabbath School Department and distributed through Hope Channel Australia, this podcast is also redistributed by Hope Channel Germany, Christian Record Services for the Blind. It is also available on SoundCloud and through multiple podcast distributors, including Apple iTunes. And you can listen and watch at the same time on YouTube. Remember, God is always faithful.